Never thought I'd be back to this place. Why, Charlie? This town's as much your home as anywhere else. Yeah, at one time it was, but too much bad stuff has happened here. Yeah. You need to get your rest and think about what you're going to do next. Yeah, I just wish to hell we could have found Dan. We did everything we could, Charlie. We all looked for him. Yeah. The whole biker gang looked. We need to accept the fact that he might be dead. I know. I hate to think that, but you're right. Let's get going. Take my gun! Charlie, I don't use guns! Take my gun or we're both dead! Father. Are you really leaving? I got to. I got to find Dan. Charlie, it's been four years. I know, but... We searched everywhere. I got a feeling, and if it was him, he wouldn't give up on me. I owe it to him. I understand. Charlie, I have something for you. This was Dan's. This ain't Dan's, this is mine. What? Where'd you get this? The bikers brought it back from Pine Box, Texas. We all assumed it was Dan's. Well, we had identical ones made, but this one's mine. Your powers didn't pick up on that? That is strange. That is strange. Take it with me. Charlie, I had a vision of a young man in your world. He's searching for you. Did you get a name or anything? Just the initials M.H. And apparently he's in Bangor, Maine. For me to have had this vision, he's had to have touched your jacket at some point. Okay, well, I'll look into it. I can't thank you and your grandfather enough for all you've done. No thanks is needed, Charlie. Let's go get this portal open.
finally found you. Little Matty? Yeah, it's me, but... Little Matty used to run around looking, trying yeah. to get this jacket. Huh? Yeah. Ah, well, I, I just wanted to be Matt now, though. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> You're all grown now. Why, but why are you looking for me? Hey, well, about a year ago, I was, I was uh, getting to talking to some bikers. I mentioned your name, and they talked about how Dan went missing or something like that, and then you just fell off the radar. What happened? Well, I was in a coma for four years what? is what happened. We'll talk about that later. Uh, okay. Why were you searching for me? Hey, I started snooping around. I guess I got that from Dad, but there's one thing I did get. I got a name. What's the name? Detective Fred Burns, the Golan County Sheriff's Department. It's located in Pine Box, Texas. Last location of Dan the Man. Nope. And then that's exactly where I need to go. Pine Box, Texas. Hey, don't argue about this, but I'm coming with you. Uh, well, I can see your mind's made up. Well, a hunter and a cop's son. So it's gonna be a good team. Hell yeah. Dear Dad, what I'm about to do is not to hurt you, but rather to protect you. You've always been there for me, the best father ever, and you have achieved so many of your goals. I cannot allow my secret to destroy you. They have discovered my identity, they know what I am, the shapeshifter, and they will soon be here. I love you, Dad. Stay strong and know that this is the only way out for both of our sakes. Your devoted son, Eric. Uncle, we've been in Pine Box, Texas for two whole days. We still haven't been able to contact Detective Burns and the police department saying he's out sick. Like, what? It's okay. Uh, I've been looking for Dan for like four years, so another two days ain't gonna matter. I do like this little bed and breakfast you found here, though. It's better than the usual <laughs> dingy hotel I stay at. Yeah. I mean, might as well just go get warmed up while we're waiting. Yeah, you go get warmed up. I'll, I'll be back after dark. Excuse me. Yes? Maybe you could help me. I'm looking for this man. Have you ever seen him before? As a matter of fact, I have. Really? Yes. Tell me all about it. The girl says she does remember him mostly because of his long blonde hair. That's what she mainly remembered. But then suddenly he was just gone. Soon after that, people began talking about three biker ghosts that were roaming the big woods west of town. Hunters? Hikers, even park rangers have seen something. The one thing that they all claim to have seen is that one of the bikers has long blonde hair. The townsfolk say they will roam until properly buried. All right, well, thanks for your help. I don't like this. It'll be all right. Maybe Dan's ghost is around here. I do not care. We can you come can, back tomorrow and can help daylight. lead us to the body. I, I don't like it, man. What the hell was that? Calm down. No, that was something. We huh? Calm down, man. Just keep moving. Stop here for a second. I need to check this map. Okay. What the hell was that? That's a Bigfoot right there. What? That, that is a Bigfoot. Calm down. You see right there that they make those noises. All Uncle, right, please, all right, all go. right. Let's go. We'll come, come back in the day. Come on. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, thanks, Bob. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I'll be in touch. Okay, bye. So, it had to come again. Son, when will it end? Yeah, may I help you? Uh, are you uh, Detective Burns? Well, who's asking? Uh, my name's Charlie Haynes. I'm looking into the disappearance of a hunter from about four years back. Heard you worked the case. Uh, I... <laughs> Uh, I don't do business at home. I uh, I don't know how you got my address, but um, that was easy. You just punch it into Google. Oh well, yeah, there is that. Um, Look, I just want to know what happened back then. He's a friend of mine. I'm looking into it. Well, I can tell you this: we investigated, we found nothing, we closed it, and that's it. Well, there's got to be more to it than that. I know there's more to it than that. Listen, I don't do business at home. Get the hell off my property before I run you in myself. Look, there's no need to get all out of shape yeah, about right. it. This bastard's hiding something, and we're going to find out what it is. Yeah. Hey, Bob, it's Fred. Those two guys you told me about, they showed up. Yeah, they're just nosing around, but I want you to put a tail on them right now. I want you, yeah, immediately. And let me know, yeah, let me know their, um, their whereabouts, okay? Yeah, keep me posted. Thanks. Bye. All right, we're going to go a little deeper in here. Look for anything strange, uh, clothing, human bones, anything out of the ordinary. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you going to be okay going back into these woods after last night? Yeah, I think I'll be fine, but, I mean, it is daylight, but, I mean, after we're done with all this, we're going to have to have a talk about Bigfoot. And several other things, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so what are our guys doing? No, no, don't send anyone into the woods, no. Just pull, no. No, 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 no. Pull all of our guys back now. Okay? All right, that's fine. Okay. I'll be in touch shortly. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Bye. care of this myself, as I know how. Hey Matt, I'm rethinking this. Why don't you just stay back at the car? It's too dangerous. Stay by the phone. I'll be calling you soon. All right. Man, this West Texas weather is ridiculous.
Dan. Oh, Dan, no! It's definitely him. After all these years, Dan, I finally found you, man. Matt, I found him. Come Put it on. Down. Put it down right now. I'm putting it away. Why are you doing this, man? Oh, you don't know. You're gonna tell me you don't know. Really? Now I gotta waste you just like I did those stupid biker friends of yours. Run, Matt! Drop it! On the ground or I'll split your head like a watermelon. Why the cover-up, detective? You really don't know, do you? Get over here and uncover the skeleton. The man you murdered. On your knees. Yeah, look. The hog wild jacket, the blonde hair, that's Dan! And you killed him! And I'm gonna fucking kill you! Go ahead. Go ahead. Just do it now. Yeah, I did it. I, I killed your friend. I killed those bikers that came nosing around. Yeah, I'm guilty. So just go ahead and kill me. Why? You were a cop! You wouldn't understand, but I did it for my son. And then my son turns around and kills himself. And it just... Just just keep clearing the body. Uh, no, just... Might as well kill me. I, I'm a cop. I go to jail. How long do you think I'm going to last? Huh? How long will I last in a freaking jail, huh? Just do it. No, I got your confession on tape now. Clear that body. Burns says that his son Eric was the shapeshifter that Dan was searching for. Once Eric realized Dan was on to his secret and he would be exposed, Eric killed himself. Burns blamed Dan, so he lured Dan into the big woods and shot him. Later, when two bikers got too close to the truth, he killed them also. Matt, I found Dan. I got Burns. No, I didn't kill him. I think it was your father that stopped me. Holy hell. Matt, he just blew himself away in front of me. Are you close by? Get down here. I got everything. I got I got his confession on tape. Everything's recorded and we found we got Dan's body, so get him out here. All right. Well, Dan, old buddy. We rode together for many years. Proud to call you my friend. I hate to find you like this, but at least the search is over now. You'll rest in peace, my friend.